Hello, in this video I'll be demonstrating how we can determine the Planck constant uh, by measuring the voltage across some LEDs. This is a, a special bit of kit that's been set up to have a series of different LEDs available to us and the wavelengths of the light produced by each of these LEDs is known. Don't worry about all the, all the wires tangled around here, but we're connected to a power supply. And we have a potential divider here, potentiometer, which allows us to vary the voltage applied to the LED. So you can see if I do that, eventually this LED on this side has lit up. So what we're looking for is the minimum voltage needed to allow these LEDs to light. And to do that, it's very difficult to judge. You'll see there, it's quite difficult to judge exactly what the voltage is when that LED starts to light. So we use this bit of kit here, which is very complicated. It's a plastic tube. We place that over the LED. I point my uh, camera lens down the tube. You can see that the LED is on. Now if I turn, turn that down, so there's no light shining on the LED. I'm trying to get a tight seal around both ends of this tube so that there's no extra light getting in. Now I'm going to increase the voltage and we're going to look for the LED to just switch on. There we have it, so let's just, just looking for those first glints of purple light, so it's about there and that gives us a reading of uh, 2.99 volts. So we'd, we would record, this is the 430 nanometer, so we'd record the wavelength of this LED and the voltage here which is just ticked over to 3.00 volts. And then we'd do the same thing for the next LED, you can see this LED is actually lit up already at that voltage. So let's repeat the experiment, turn the LED down, and then look for the moment where it just begins to conduct some of that blue light. There we have it, and that's at 2.35 volts. Now to determine the Planck constant, we need to begin with our equation here, E equals HC divided by lambda. And the E here provided by the provided to the supply can be calculated by multiplying the charge on an electron by the voltage, because that's the uh, gas energy per coulomb. And that's equal to the Planck constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So using the data we've collected, you plot a graph of voltage on, on the y-axis against one over lambda on the x-axis. And the gradient of that line would be hc divided by e. Once you've determined the gradient, you can then divide it by c and multiply it by e, and that will give you h, the Planck constant. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, Please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.